and tanka or scroll painting, a Tibetan Buddhist painting on cotton or silk usually depicts a Buddhist deity seen or mandala. The artwork often serves several different functions, including teaching tools, meditation tools, or prayer mediums during rituals. We meet a modern tanka artist who considers this as a journey to cultivate their souls. For several months, a group of professional artists and amateurs, old and young, have been working on this tanka, commissioned by the Tibet College of Buddhism. Tankas have been discovered that are hundreds of, even over a thousand years old. To see this group of modern tanka painters is to wonder, is this how artists have always worked to create these religious masterpieces? Produced on cotton or silk, tankas usually depict a deity or scene associated with Buddhism. Originally, most tankas were intended to enhance personal meditation or to help the instruction of student monks. The composition can be highly elaborate and may include a plethora of tiny figures. Often, a large central deity is depicted, surrounded by other lesser figures in a symmetrical pattern. Karma Tenzin was born in Shan'an Prefecture, Tibet. He comes from a long line of tanka painters. Uh, the course of learning to paint tankas is difficult. It requires considerable patience and stamina, as it can involve many hours work a day. An artist needs to be utterly devoted, since there's little time left for other pursuits. Proper mental preparation is vital. The artist needs to develop a sense of compassion, to purify his mind, and to rid himself of jealous thoughts. The painting reflects their meticulous approach to every detail. Old and young alike, the artists feel duty to promote interest in tanka painting. <laughs> For months, they've been striving to attain artistic perfection, but it's also been a journey to cultivate their souls. So, <laughs> Traditionally, the pigments used in tankas contain precious minerals, mixing gold, silver, pearl, agate, coral, turquoise, malachite or cinnabar with extracts of plants such as rhubarb and indigo, 
demonstrate a level of reverence. These natural materials guarantee that a tanker will retain its luster and brilliance, even after hundreds of years, whether produced on cloth or a wall. Still to come on Culture Express.